Hello friends, my name is Dr. Jeffrey Allen Gray. I am the founder of Helux in beautiful Santa Barbara, California. And I'm really excited to share with you guys some of the information that we've learned from footwear testing in over the past couple of years, particularly as it relates to running shoes and how running shoe cushioning breaks down over time. Now, many of you guys watching this video were lucky enough to attend my lecture at the running event in Austin, Texas back in December 2015. If you saw this, you're going to know that what we went over was a bunch of really cool demos that can be used in running stores to show people how weight and speed affect running shoes and how foam breaks down. I'm going to go over those same demos today on this video. The best part about all these demos is that they can be made very inexpensively and very easily and I'm going to put some uh, diagrams on how to do that on the Helux website. So just go to helux.com after you've watched this video. There's going to be a link right down below here as well. So first, let's talk a little bit about cushioning in running shoes. Now, regardless of whether you think cushioning is a good or a bad thing, what I'm going to talk about is how body weight affects cushioning. And I got some scientific data to back this up. We're going to keep it real easy and fun though. So first things first, is that when um, you have a heavier runner, let's say we have a 240 pound man, it makes sense that he's going to put more impact onto the shoe when he's running at a 10 minute pace than let's say a lighter runner, let's say a 120 pound woman running at that same pace. So here I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some graphs from some in-shoe sensors that show that. You can see that the heavier runner has much more red, that means that they're putting a lot more pressure into the foam. The lighter runner has a lot less red and a lot more blue. That means they're not putting as much strain on the foam. Now, let's go and look at these demos here that we have. So this is a couple of weighted buckets and we have them uh, resting on just some uh, mattress type foam or some uh, chair foam that you could get at any um, uh, home supply store type thing. So right over here, this is gonna be um, about eight pounds of weight representing our heavier runner. This is gonna be our lighter runner at about four pounds. Now, if we lift up both of these and let them come crashing down, you can see that the heavier runner compresses the foam more. All this should make pretty good sense to you guys. This isn't any crazy idea here. But now what I want to talk about is that really that cushioning aspect, the initial impact is only part of the cushioning that our shoes are capable of doing. The other part comes when we're propelling ourselves forward, when our muscles contract and apply all that force down into the ground. So now let's say we take our heavier runner, and they're going to stay at 10 minute mile pace. But now we're going to take our lighter runner and we're going to make them run way faster. They're going to start going at 6 minute mile pace. Their muscle contraction is going to increase the force going into the ground and that's going through the foam. So essentially what's going to happen is they're going to start pushing down into the foam more. So they both impact differently, but this one starts pushing more. And that's going to create the same amount of wear on that foam. And now here we're going to take a look at the in-shoe graphs. You can see that the lighter runner, running at a faster pace, definitely shows us that the, uh, there's more pressure there and it looks like a heavier runner. So now, how do you use all this information? Well, if you're a lighter runner and you like to run really, really fast, you're probably going to break down the foam cushioning faster. Same thing if you're a heavier runner and you run at any speed, you're probably going to break down the shoe a little bit faster. A lighter runner, maybe that goes a little bit slower, their shoe's going to last a little bit longer. The foam's not going to break down as fast. Now, why this is important is because this is going to lead into when do you need to replace your shoes.